So we're here with uh, Eyal Rashef from the IMA, the uh, Israel Mobile, Assist Mobile Association. And uh, you have a very interesting uh, organization uh, from the point of view of uh, how it's built and, and how it's spread out. Can you tell us a little bit more about how it works? Yeah, sure. Uh, IMA incorporates 100 product companies from various sizes, from global leaders to small startups. In, in the area of mobile, telecom, internet, and television, uh, everything is converging. IMA also serves uh, more than 150 operators and publishers on a global scale. And we help them scout for uh, pro interesting products who could either grow their traffic and improve their network or could save money. And uh, we've created an ecosystem here in Israel, which is uh, a very innovative country. It's one of the top three venture capital markets in the world. And we have uh, an innovation lab at a testbed based on a live 3G network here in Israel, uh, which helps us scale and, and nurture those products. And also test them in a real live environment on real live consumers, uh, where we have both the network capabilities and the mobile, uh, the handsets. And this enables our, comp enable our companies to be uh, more market ready. Uh, this market is very unique because there's so many standards you have to run on so many platforms and devices, and it constantly keep on changing. So I have created a area of uh, partnerships in all over the domains of mobile and telecom, um, also with content. So it helps us uh, grow better companies, better products. You're basically giving equal opportunity to all of all of your members to test their products. Uh you're basically giving them open source R&D uh, facilities, right? Yeah, it's, it's exactly like that. There is a platform where they can uh, use it, they can test the product, scale it. We uh, try to educate them to run the best methodology, the best practice about product development, about uh, testing, but also about marketing research, about validating the business case. And it's an uh, open environment, so everybody can test it. Uh, the lab is sponsored by the Israeli Chief Scientist, a big government agency. Although IMA is an independent entity, it's a non-profit run by industry professionals. But we also work very closely with big uh, companies who manage this domain, from Ericsson to Nokia to Bonjour on the content. And we try to uh, work closely with them in the remote markets because we have to serve customers anywhere we bring 4 to 12 hour flight from our home market. Uh, it's a big challenge to be a global player. Uh, so in order to better serve operators uh, in India, like Reliance and Tata, and operators in South America, or Europe, or Russia, uh, we have local partners in each of those countries, and we have partners who are global players. So we work with Accenture, we work with Bojono, we work with IBM. Uh, we have close relationship with all the handset vendors. We are now deploying the GSMA um, one API initiative, and we are trying to play on places in, in areas where we can really uh, use our economies of scale as I mean. And how many companies do you represent at the moment in Israel? We represent uh, over 100 companies. Uh, this The market keeps changing. There are a couple of uh, mature, strong companies who are public players on NASDAQ, and there are two people with a vision and a very nice demo who are out from the garage trying to make it out there in the world. And we are helping um, each company in the different phases of the life, life cycle in different ways. We help them coach, we, have, uh, we coach them, we give them access to funding, we have access to the technology. Uh, and as the company grows, their uh, needs change. But we see also the operators and the publishers as our customers because we have to maintain a very close relationship with them. Sometimes it takes a long period of years to create this personal uh, connection. But we help them scout, we understand uh, their scouting agenda, which changes throughout the years. Uh, we have um, customers in very advanced uh, markets in uh, West Europe, but we also have customers in Vietnam and in India. And there's different uh, requirements, different phases of uh, mobile progress. And we have to adapt. Uh, because the market now is, is, is booming, there's a lot of interesting stuff to do. You're basically a mobile matchmaker. Yeah, but uh, I think that after you put the 
both both parties in the same room and you introduce them, there's a lot of work to do. Uh, we used to do just matchmaking about three or four years ago, and our experience taught us that you need to do so much more. If you want one of your uh, vendor companies to succeed in Telefonica, you have to come with a local uh, business partner who can work with Telefonica. You have to have a lot of uh, intelligence. You have to have local uh, internal champion. And you have to understand the roadmap. So our lab uh, follows the Telefonica roadmap in terms of headsets, in terms of network. Uh, there's a lot of things that if you want to succeed in the mobile domain, you need to do. And uh, matchmaking is a very exciting and very nice uh, phase, but it's just where things start. And this is a, mar a marathon. So you have to come up with new ideas how to promote the companies. Uh, recently in, in Barcelona, we, in the World Congress, we launched a very nice, a very interesting partnership with Bongiorno. And we work with, very closely with content players because we, we understand that uh, there is a whole new game of distribution today, from the app stores to Facebook. And we have to uh, understand how it's possible to uh, promote those companies. If you're you know, anywhere with in top 25 applications on your category, then you stand a chance. But how do you get there? How do you stay top 5 on Ovi? Uh, it's so simple. Uh, today, even very successful brands move from advertising on television to promoting on social networks. It's a new game. No one really knows. We see big ad agency go out of business because they don't know how to acquire those skills. And we try to give our companies those capabilities of doing businesses in this new world, in this new game, uh, with a lot of partnership, with a lot of capabilities that we're developing. Is it very difficult to be unbiased about the companies? or? I mean, if, if you've got, uh, you know, if you know that there's someone who's looking for, for a specific uh, type of company and you've got three of them, let's say, what, what do you do? So, uh, you know, this is not like every day I get this dilemma that I have two competing uh, sons in the family or daughters, I have three daughters, but uh, it comes up once in a while. Uh, I think that uh, the toughest question is, I get asked, I was in Europe last week and people ask me, who is your best top five startups? Uh, it's very difficult to answer. It depends if you are a big engineer running the Vodafone network or you are the head of value services for a specific operator like, say, Telefonica. The, question, the answer would be different. But I think that uh, there's not too much internal competition. And anyway, the two worlds so big. And there's so many opportunities. Even for big companies, no one can, no one, no one can address all those opportunities. Uh, it's more about the fact that this uh, industry is very tricky. Uh, there's a lot of power in the hands of uh, operators and, and handset vendors, but still, this industry finds itself. There's mixing standards. There's a lot of energy wasted. That uh, market could grow much faster because the user experience is just not there. Luckily for us, I mean, iPhone changed a couple of things. And there's uh, now much better products in the market, much better user experience. But still, if you talk to, and I talk a lot to non techy people, you know, you'll be surprised to find uh, a teenager in uh, Starbucks in Dusseldorf. And uh, output in Starbucks is higher than the output for Vodafone. And understanding why, I come from a consumer background. I think this is the key for this industry. And so there's more to collaboration than to competition. And still, the, the market needs to uh, grow and the industry needs to collaborate. And there's more things that we need to simplify and understand together and create together than to compete. Uh, I think this is uh, what's needed now in the industry. And if you could give one prediction to, to end, uh, one prediction for the Israeli uh, mobile segment in general, where, where do you think it's going? I think that we now, after seven, eight years of uh, dealing with mobile internet, having a very strong uh, venture capital industry here. We have a good uh, layer of entrepreneurs and executives who can run world-class companies. So I think that what you can expect coming out of Israel is very strong uh, infrastructure solutions, dealing with backbone, dealing with network software, uh, exciting stuff migrating from the internet to the mobile uh, applications that are running on top of your three screens, 
uh, the set of box of the television will open up just like an open OS headset. So we're going to see more and more content shifting between the various devices that we use. Uh, so you can expect a lot of exciting stuff coming in this sense of services to the consumer, to the business customer. You're going to see many of those. The threshold to uh, setting up a company, I think, should be a little bit lower, just like it is in the Internet. Uh, standards will enable developers and, and entrepreneurs to launch companies uh, consuming less cash. Uh, and, and globally, there's a global competition going on. I think the distribution is in some ways improved. So you can put an app on an app store and reach uh, millions of consumers. But in another way, that is a lot, it's very crowded there. So you need to be very differentiated. Um, I think that we as an industry here in Israel, we, we can leverage all those trends. Uh, we have uh, global companies and we have small companies and entrepreneurs that for each of the market segments. That will be successful. Great. Well, thank you very much for explaining that, and good luck.